Quarantine has allowed me to do so many things that I didn't have time to do before. Like reading. I used to read so much. Who am I kidding? I don't really read. <laughs> and this is not even a real book. This is literally just a magazine. Or not magazine. Paper book? It's um something to look into for pictures. Something? People are staring at me from down below. Maybe I should stop. Okay, bye. What's up everyone and welcome back to my channel. So hope you all are staying healthy and safe during these times. So I was looking through all the stuff that I have in my room and currently found, I don't know, I literally see someone delivering someone pizza and now I want pizza. So I found this Herschel like paper thing, but it's mainly just like picture that just all really look, not gonna lie, very aesthetic. Like, ooh, look at that Starry Night. I love the painting Starry Night by Van Gogh. So I was thinking about doing some room art where I would basically just cut up all these pictures and basically put it on my wall. Because I've seen posts before when people would take photos that you didn't take yourself, but still put it on. Since I didn't want to pay for that, because sometimes it can get kind of pricey, and also I found this so it's like free. Building up that aesthetic bedroom, we're going to start building up a vibe. A vibe that needs to start, because... I'm in my room. I wonder if that house is enjoying the pizza. Question of the day. Pineapple on pizza? Yes or no? Cue to the DIY now. Is this even like a DIY? It's, I'm really just cutting out pages and putting it on the wall. I mean, I guess you're using paper and tape. Cue now? New location, aka almost only a meter away from where I was before. So now I'm just looking at the pictures and, and how many there are. Cause I currently have this whole wall, not whole wall, but like enough of the wall I can go around to. So when looking at the pages I want to put on or what are the pages I, I want to be seen on the wall, I have to take and only see one of the sides of the paper. Well, it's like one page. So even though there's two sides of this one page, it's really, still one page. I mean, it's still one page, but like, you know what I mean. So one, eight, not, was that the, look at me, I'm gonna start over. One, thirty-seven, thirty-eight. So it's currently 38 pages, six by six, with two extra. Or I could do four times nine. Either way, I guess I'll have two extra. So the next step of the DIY is to remove, find where that folded part of the stapler is, and that will be the part to help take out. Oh, why is it so dark? It's a bit better. You should use a staple remover gadget. Booyah. So now the next step is to take some pieces of paper and just to cut it in half. So then I'm just gonna cut all of these in half and check back after. I totally forgot that before I was planning on film doing a Q&A so I'm gonna answer a few questions right now so it's gonna be a putting on pictures of my wall Sasha Q&A so currently I'm just putting um, tape on all, all four corners and then just sticking it on question number one How's life been going? Um, going well, I would say. Obviously with everything going on hard right now. So obviously, oh, is this, what, is that really being in? But like maybe that's better. I don't know. It, it's very good to, um, to stay involved with either news outlets, social media, anything that you can, but, but still look after your mental health. That, that's kind of a very convoluted way of saying how I'm doing right now, but I guess that is how I'm doing right now. Um, First one, should I go high? Let's just commit. Thank God, six foot two. Contact. Also, a very good tip uh, when you're putting or using, well, technically you should be using blue tack, but we don't. So basically a tip that when you're rolling it, you want it looping, looping like this and not like this, because if not, the paper can roll off and come across and fall down. Well, this won't really, or at least it won't encourage you. But as we're planning this out, what does your dream house or apartment look like? I would say, it's kind of confusing, but I get up to modernist slash boho because I do like the like rustic look. Oh my god, honestly, I really don't know. So, uh, how do we even like answer this question? 
Honestly, I'll just put like inspo pics here because I really don't know for right or at least the style that I want right now. Almost like a modest version of 1950s LA. A boho modest impersonation like of 19 a 1950s interpretation. Right. A boho modest interpretation of 1950s LA. I think that's what I think that's what the vibe is. Next question. What inspired you to do architecture and how are you Eli? Oh, thank you. I, I honestly I'm doing very well. Everything aside from the previous question, I guess still doing well, you know, been baking a lot. I made pizza a few days ago. That's actually in my previous vlog, so check that out. The link down below for that vlog. Apart from the obvious um, of saying that I love physics and I love art, which is both very much which is actually a weird combination. This is something about um, proving something physically with numbers and facts, expected outcome that results in um, data and taking that data into like a finite answer or like expected answer. So art is very like creative and there's a lot of room for exploration and innovation. Um, so I guess architecture is kind of like a real representation of how it can affect your space. What I really found um, inspiring about architecture, because architecture can really impact how a space feels and how it is and what is allowed in there, whether it's a big room where a lot of people can gather versus a small room that's very intimate, how much light you get inside, how much how little light gets in. in. So just kept creating all those factors. Next question. Why are you so cute? Oh, Honestly, I mean, I don't consider myself a cute person, but if the people say it, that's what the people say. A favorite, mo favorite movies of all time. Hands down, anything Disney related. But I do really, I do really like a good comedy. Bridesmaids, that's so funny. Definitely say Les Mis. Love that music. I could watch it any day, any time. Avatar also. I would also say Mean Girls. Oh my god, Mean Girls is my one of my favorite movies. I can quote that movie to God knows Earth. Um, like in the lunch scene, I know that scene like off the off like like off the top of my head. Next question: Do you miss Julia Jones because she because she miss you? Honestly, Julia, I miss you so much. Honestly, Julia, you always have a special place in my heart. Right over here, right over here, left side of the heart. Cardiovascular. What's at the top of your bucket list? Okay. If you're in, if, if you're in Toronto or, or you've been to Toronto before, you can do something called edge walk, where you can walk on the edge of the CN Tower. But it's kind of like spooky because like you're just out out there. Um, love to go to Paris. Love to go to Disney World again. Um, New York again. Um, but definitely want to go to Spain, Italy. I would love to go to. I would love to go to the Philippines, I would love to go there. I'm um, also sorry for the bad lighting, but this is the only light I have right now. So, uh, I think Greece and Egypt, because like, love the architecture over there from like centuries and centuries ago. <sighs> favorite, favorite song at the moment. I did actually do a favorite, not favorite song, so basically something where you talk about songs that you liked um, during that day. It's like a 30 day song challenge. It's in my Instagram highlights, so go check it out. That's a good sense of all my favorite songs. But favorite song at the moment? I guess it's kind of a, not really a throwback, but Blinding Lights by The Weeknd. Also, of course, Rain On Me by the Queen Lady Gaga and the Queen Ariana Grande. Both together, Queen Nation. Queen Nation. Mr. Shu, discuss. Okay, this is TikToks especially have come out. We're basically exposing Mr. Shu for being like a not, the not the greatest teacher. The female um, Glee Club members when his reactions were kind of like very not appropriate and he would just his actions were sometimes I guess inappropriate um, which is very very true I guess me personally I've always just seen Mr. Shu as like the teacher that you always wanted and obviously looking at it now um, the things that he he was that he done that's like can be seen as like inappropriate but honestly all the characters on the show have done something like inappropriate one time or another um, which really goes to show but I guess um, since he was a teacher, he should have done a lot more, um, which is very true. Um, but I guess overall, I still really like the show. And I feel like many of us who started watching the show Glee was watching it because it was like nothing like ever seen on a TV show before. But also, it just helped us like either learn or see at least I a perspective of different people that differ from ourselves, and also just love ourselves a bit more. Which so really commend Glee on that. Oh, I guess I have two extra, so I guess I can get rid of this. Ooh. Which Disney character do you relate to the most? Okay, so I 100% relate to the, mo the, the Disney character that I relate to the most has to be Finding Nemo. 
how I really related to Nemo was that for Nemo, um, he had his like lucky fin. Um, he couldn't do as many things because he had a like almost like disability. Um, so I guess as a kid, like for me having a lisp and a stutter, and uh, I, 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 see right there, like, um, and he never, and he never really let, let stop me to be honest. Obviously, presenting and um, being an being an architect, you do lots of presentations. So it's something I did have to like overcome after a while. But it's it's still something that like lingers on, and I never really let let it like bother me too much. I kind of plan out what I'm trying to say, then it gets kind of like stopped. It, a little fish just like kept on going, and you know what? I was like, I'm gonna keep on going. Next question: What do you look for in a man? Okay, well, <laughs> hotness. No, <laughs> either a passion for something or a passion to do something. Those to the second one would have to be a moral compass. Um, they don't have to be religious, but just anything or or. or a good sense of a right of, of morality. So if you if so if you're a professional guy or a gal and you're watching this, um, hit me up. Now, last question: Why are you so amazing? You know what? These compliments are really trying to get to my head because I'm trying to be very humble here, but like I'm just getting those compliments and I'm sorry. You know why am I amazing? My mom. Honestly, if it wasn't for my mom, I would not be. The way I am, like, the apple doesn't does not fall far from the tree. We're both very compassionate, very understanding. We both like to make jokes, very kind of sassy and witty, um, and we're both very like there for our loved ones and very much trying to support them in the way that we can. Um, and this, and and on, and also we both love food. So <laughs> that we do very much like to do is something called like work hard, play hard, which means that you try to. You know work hard and and you know I try to accomplish something but then you also try to um, you know have fun when you can so try to appreciate both moments in your life look all the questions I have ooh, bouncy all the questions I have now so I'm going to continue with all this and see how it goes I'll film the outro tomorrow, only because I want to see how this looks in the daytime. It looks really good so far, so fingers crossed! <laughs> but yeah, okay, that tape is not really going on. Okay, I'm gonna, we'll, we'll start with a new piece of tape. So this, this goes to show you that just in case if you didn't want to spend that amount of money on actual photos you can literally use anything and you and, and use magazine cutouts and literally just cut out all these magazines and i absolutely love how it looks it completely changed how my room looks or the other walls in my room are still like this like gray muted brown beige color um but now with the wall it just makes it a lot more lively and colorful which is like completely what i want for like my room or at least the environment i want actually no film in here so i hope you guys enjoyed the video and hopefully this gave you some inspiration to kind of jazz up your room and to have some fun and to still be creative during during this time and to not let those creative juices to go away so i hope you liked the video if you did then give it a big thumbs up and to subscribe for more weekly content so hope you guys are staying healthy and safe and see you guys in the next video bye guys <laughs>